The Three Sisters They came with the wind that blows in August, thin as a spider web and barely noticed. Three who did not seem to be related to anything but the moon. One with laughter like tin, and one with eyes of a cat, and one with hands like porcelain. The aunts, the three sisters, las comadres, they said. The baby died, Lucy and Rachel's sister. One night a dog cried and the next a day a yellow bird flew in through an open window. Before the week was over, the baby's fever was worse. Then Jesus came and took the baby with him, far away. That's what their mother said. Then the visitors came, in and out, of the little house. It was hard to keep the floors clean. Anybody who had ever wondered what color the walls were came and came to look at that little thumb of a human in a box like candy. I had never seen the dead before. Not for real. Not in somebody's living room for people to kiss and bless themselves and light a candle for. Not in the house. It seems strange. They must have known. The sisters, they had the power and could sense what was what. They said, come here and give me a stick of gum. They smelled like Kleenex or the inside of a satin handbag. And then I didn't feel afraid. What's your name? The cat eyed one asked. Esperanza, I said. Esperanza? The old blue-veined one repeated in a high, thin voice. Esperanza! A good, good name. My knees hurt, the one with the funny laugh complained. Tomorrow will rain. Yes, tomorrow, they said. Uh, how... Do you know? I asked. We know. Look at her hands, cat-eyed one said. And they turned them over and over as if they were looking for something. She's special. Yes, she'll go very far. Yes, yes. Mm. Make a wish. A wish? Yes, make a wish. What do you want? Anything? I said. Well, why not? I closed my eyes. Did you wish already? Yes, I said. Well, that's all there is to it. It'll come true. How do you know? I asked. We know, we know. Esperanza. The one with the marble hands called me aside. Esperanza. She held my face with her blue vein hand and looked and looked at me. A long silence. When you leave, you must remember always to come back, she said. What? When you leave, you must remember to come back for the others. A circle? Understand? You will always be Esperanza. You will always be Mango Street. You can't erase what you know. You can't forget who you are. Then I didn't know what to say. It was as if she could read my mind, as if she knew what I had wished for, and I felt ashamed for having made such a selfish wish. You must remember to come back for the ones who cannot leave as easily as you. You will remember, she asked as if she was telling me. Yes, yes, 
I said a little confused. Good, she said, rubbing my hands. Good. That's all. You can go. I got up to join Lucy and Rachel, who were already outside waiting by the door, wondering what I was doing talking to three old ladies who smelled like cinnamon. I didn't understand everything they had told me. I turned around. They smiled and waved in their smoky way. Then I didn't see them. Not once or twice or ever again.